So I know everyone's been waiting for the E320 video. Whoever watching this needs to really pay attention to this because so right now it's not going to start. It's not going to do anything as I'm going to show in the video. Stay tuned. But this car, the E320s has the SBC braking system. As you can hear that. It's like a whole hydraulic. I don't even want to say hydraulic. I may be saying it wrong, but it's a whole system that comes with this car. So sometimes these brakes fail. And anyone that has this car, you know, you might want to check. They did a recall on these cars for the SBC braking system. So call and tell them SBC braking system because the braking system can fail. It can fail and your brakes can go out. So I just wanted to say that. I wanted to state that before I get into today's video about this car. But one reason I will tell people looking for one of these cars to not get one is the sound system is so terrible on this thing it has no backup camera no blind spot detection but you know this was in 2004 so who's really complaining but i'm just saying the reason why i got that title was yes it is a little clickbaitable welcome to the channel but i had to put that because i made a video a long time about the e320 and i'm just now making another one so it's so late you know it's just to kind of grab the title if y'all want to click out of it you can click out of it but i am going to be talking about what's wrong with this thing and why it's just unacceptable it, this is just unacceptable how I keep happening to the E320, you know, we, I got more Mercedes, so it's not just like a bad thing about this car. I did plenty of CL videos, so it's not just a bad thing about this car, but it's some stuff that just, it's not good. Like the, the, the gas pump or the fuel gas, whatever it is, the sensor, it went out on me before. So that's what I'm saying is you, you will have problems, you know, getting this car. I hate to say that. So here we go. So it starts right up. Up on the jump with the battery. All right, so it started right on up, but it is saying. So they came, gave a quick jump to the battery that's under here. Under here. Started instantly because we did get a new battery. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's 3 Rap Star, a.k.a. is the Benz, man. Uh, ooh, look at the chrome shining. But today, oh, we got to do something with these headlights. And I'm bringing this video because we finally fixed it. We finally got it fixed. And what everybody thought what was wrong with it, that wasn't what was necessarily wrong with it. So we took it down there. A lot of people were saying, it's the battery, it's the battery. Which we went, it, we went down there, we got it checked out. And guess what? It was the battery, but it wasn't the battery alone. What else, what it was, it was the crank shift position sensor, which we have not fixed yet. Gas is low and need a lot of gas things up there on mileage 110. And you know, I've been waiting to make this video because everybody thought they knew what was wrong with it or they was just saying, oh, hey, you just saying anything is the battery does. Some people thought it, you know, it was the key getting messed up. It was, it was a lot of things playing the part in it because we had to get it. We did end up getting another key. So it was essentially like three things, like a battery thing, which the key wasn't coming on. It was a uh, like a malfunction in the key. We needed a new key, the battery, and the crankshaft position. So right now, as I showed, they came over and they started up, and it started right up. As soon as the cables touched the battery, it started right up. But the thing is, now, it, and it's on, look. Let me give it some gas. And it still works, still a good car, still a great car. I know I made some videos, do not buy a 320, but I was just showing the stuff that will happen, you know, over time to the car. I got a lot of backlash on that because they are great cars and I agree they are, but they do have their nicks and things that will go wrong with them if you don't upkeep them. So that's why I brought this video to tell everybody that the next thing is the crank shift position sensor. So with that said, if we take it to go get gas and we bring it back home and turn it off, it won't start again. So it wasn't just the battery alone for all the people that were saying it was just the battery. It wasn't just the battery. So right now it still starts. And I know a lot of people like consider these cars classic, but look at the paint on these things. The paint stayed good. Like, and this is dirty, but the paint still looks great on it. Like the paint still looks good. I mean, you got a little wear up here, which is common for a car for what? A 2004, 14, 24, 22, like an 18 year old car. You know, so it still starts, but I want to tell everyone it will cut back off because and we'll need to jump it again until we fix the crankshift position sensor. So that's what was really wrong with it. 
So right now, pop the hood. Let's take a look at the hood. I don't even think I remember how to open this thing. Oh yeah, I do. It's a latch. Um, I don't think I remember actually. I know it's a latch. There's a somewhere. It's a pulley somewhere in here. Hold on. All right, there it go. So this thing is still looks good. It still runs great. It just need a lot of service, you know, engine mounts, uh, probably some coolant, things like that. But just look at this thing. 2004. Still working great. And it is a good car. So all that stuff was mixed in. And that's what was wrong with it, you know, making the car run like that. But we still got to go back and get the crank shift position. So remember, it wasn't just that one thing causing it to do that. So that's the thing. You know, with these older Benzes, you know, bringing it on the channel. So that's why I brought it to it. So let's just recap real quick. So I'm going to go over each thing. As you see it revving up. So I'm going to go over each thing. And we just turned it off for you. Let's see what happens. We're going to do it on the camera. And let's see if it turns back on. Because that's what I was saying. is a mixture of the battery and the crankshaft position sensor. And now it's nothing again. So it's a mixture. And it have been sitting again so it's like a mixture of the battery and the crankshaft position it needs those two things fixed on it to really be running right and so now if we get back in see got the key right here nothing it's not even letting me turn it again so that's what it comes down to with the problem it's a mixture because the battery we gave it a jump it'll start it if we let it run we cut it off it was reading the code for the crankshaft posi posi position sensor and that's what the dealer was saying so there it is so a lot of people were saying oh he was just well some people said that oh he's just making a video and it and it is working that he was just saying that no this is a real thing on this car i mean it's pretty common maintenance like everyone be saying but so that's a mixture so anytime if any one car go out and remember how i was saying lights on the dash that's because when we started up all the lights had went off after a while but so this is what it really was it's the crankshaft position sensor a mixture of the key and the battery so it's three things. So we had got the key fixed. It still was uh, doing that. We got the battery, then it started starting. But if you don't drive it within like one day, it'll cut off. And not only it'll cut off, but it'll do this again. And that's when we took it back and they were saying it was the crankshaft position sensor. So it was a mixture of all those three things. So a lot of people guessed, and I know I took too long to even make this video because I was too busy making videos on that beast right there but yep so that's what it was everyone it's the the scent you know like now the key is not turning it again so that was a mixture of the battery and and i was saying it was unacceptable and all that but it is time for like routine maintenance on this thing it's time for you know it's to maybe even sell it and upgrade 110k on the clock nothing so now it won't lock it won't unlock in the trunk let's see let's see what happened when we go around to the trunk the trunk will not open as well so there you go it's a mixture of those things that's causing the car to not start and when we fix them you know it should be done but it'll still need mounts and service but other than that it is a great car because remember i was saying or i had videos saying it was a bad car do not buy the e320 oh it's awful i wasn't meaning it like that because it's a great car obviously i still have it but what i meant by that was saying what I meant by that was saying that these are things you should look out for. Too many electrical problems, too many this, too many that. So that's what I was saying, but that is the update on this thing. So if we was to get the sensor first and then go fix the battery, it will work no problem and it wouldn't do this. So that's a lot of people, if you're watching this, that's what you know may be going wrong with your car. Oh, you fixed the battery, but it's still having a starting issue. It could be the starter. And it could be the position, the crank position shift sensor. Since, but with all that said, it does need another battery. And reason why? Because now that the crank shift went bad, it was just sitting here. And now it let the battery go bad. And these cars do have two batteries. So, you know, it kind of kills the purpose of doing that. But it's a great car. We may be looking to sell it soon. Don't know. Um, might keep it. Might fix it up. Just a little rusting. No, but other than that, now it's going to need another battery and to get it started. Or maybe if we uh, try to just fix the position sensor first, then go with the battery. 
and we'll check from there. But I thought I'd bring everyone just this little update, show everyone what's going on with it. Still here, signing off, Bims, man.